Upon arriving on Dragonstone with Daenerys, Yara urges that they have should immediately attack King's Landing due to their vast armada and Daenerys's dragons, resulting in the capture of King's Landing within a day. However, Tyrion doesn't want civilians to die in the firestorm and decided on using Westerosi armies to attack King's Landing. The plan shows that Yara will take Elaria Sand to Dorne, where she will ready her army, which will then be ferried up to King's Landing, again by Yara, while Olena Tyrell's army attacks from the west. Tyrion then uses the Unsullied to lay siege to Castle Rock. Yara agrees to the plan and sets sail for Dorne. On the Black Wind, on the Narrow Sea, Yara and Theon travel aboard their portion of the Iron Fleet with their Dornish allies Elaria Sand, her daughter Tyene, and Tyene's half-sisters Obara and Nymeria Sand. Elaria drinks ironborn liquor with Yara, which she compares unfavorably to Dornish wine. Elaria asks Yara if she had ever been to Dorne, to which Yara responds that she has been there a few times. Elaria responds that there is a boy in every port in Dorne, which Yara responds, a boy, a girl. Depends on the port. Yara and Elaria begin to sexually flirt with each other. Yara tells Elaria that Theon will serve as both her bodyguard and advisor. Yara puts her feet up on the table. Elaria bends over Yara and spreads her legs apart across the table. Elaria moves her hand up Yara's leg towards her crotch. Elaria invites Theon to have a threesome with her and Yara, but Yara tells Elaria to leave him be. While Yara and Elaria began kissing, Yara's ship is struck. On the deck above, they discover that their fleet has been ambushed by Euron Greyjoy's portion of the Iron Fleet. Yara tells Elaria to stay below decks, whilst she and Theon continue to the bow. Seeing her fleet peppered by fire and looking up at the silence above them, Yara knows that it is Euron. As Euron lowers his plank onto the Black Wind, the invasion begins. Filled with bloodlust and revenge for her father, Yara successfully kills many of Euron's ironborn. She tells Tyene Sand, mid-battle, to protect her mother, who is still below decks. Looking over her burning fleet, she has a moment of despair before once again engaging into battle. After he kills Obara and Nymeria Sand, Euron locks eyes with Yara and they begin dueling. Despite her skillful style of attack, Euron overpowers his niece and holds his axe to her throat. Calling over to Theon, whom he calls a cockless coward, Euron challenges his nephew to try and save Yara. However, Theon looks around and gets a harsh reminder of his torture by Ramsay Bolton as he sees Euron's men cutting out the tongues of his defeated comrades. Realizing he may suffer the same with Euron and still mentally unstable from his past, Yara is abandoned by Theon after he jumps off the Black Wind. With Euron laughing in her face and having lost all respect for Theon, Yara is taken below decks by Euron, as they sail away, en route to King's Landing, on the silence. Following Euron's assault on the Targaryen fleet, Yara along with Elaria and Tyene are led in chains through the streets of King's Landing by her triumphant uncle. Yara and the Dornish women are pelted with rotten fruits by the small folk. Euron mockingly tells his niece that they are receiving a hero's welcome. Yara and her fellow captives are brought before Queen Cersei, who appoints Euron as the commander of her naval forces. While Elaria and Tyene are left with Cersei to face her wrath for murdering her daughter Marcella, Yara is led away by armed guards. Upon Theon's return to Dragonstone, he asks to see Daenerys to request her help in rescuing Yara, but is told by Jon Snow that she has already left. At the Dragonpit Summit, Euron brags to Theon that Yara is his prisoner in order to force him to surrender. Afterwards, Theon convinces the remaining Ironborn loyal to Yara to mount a rescue mission, just as Yara did to save him. 